Hello guys, this is Anish Fridge here with version 8.1 of the rig. So this is going to be a free update. Please send me the, the receipt. Don't send me all these uh, pictures of the rig or whatever. I'm not going to reply. And yeah, just send me the receipt and I will send the link, uh, the download as soon as possible. So yeah, let's get to the features now. Okay, uh, so the first of all, uh, one thing I removed was there was this thing called password and people were freaking out like saying, Oh, I need a password and whatever. No, actually, it's a, um, yeah, I, forget, I just forgot to remove it. Second thing is I, um, yeah, I, I, I forgot some searches. So basically, g.x4 is the, for the feet and wrists. I forgot to put that in. And u. Dot is for user data. So if we search that now, u. Dot, so we can copy and paste keyframes. Just type u. Dot, select everything. I'm, I'm going to show you this later, copying and pasting the user data. And then, and then d.x. For, you can just delete the deformers for the feet and stuff and the wrists. So I forgot to mention that. Uh, yeah, so d.x1 and x2, x3, these are all the deformers you can delete. Okay, so the next thing is the bevel plugin. People have been saying they didn't have the bevel plugin. It's a feature in R16, I think, or R15. So there's one with a bevel and one without the bevel. So, it's, so people without the plugin just load this one in and it should work fine and keep in mind people have been asking why that tour texture is not popping up you need to f uh, fill out the espresso and then the textures will come on so yeah i also added an example character um so it has extruded stuff uh, jacket and items and everything on him it's just mostly for an example to see what you can do with the rig you can see how i subdivided how i extruded and everything and i use the vibrate uh, automate thing um, and yeah, so okay. Now the fix. Um, so the low poly mesh, I forgot to add uh, extra, like a subdivide for the wrists. So I added that. Um, so now it'll bend a little better. Uh, if you like, uh, you can actually add more subdivides just by going here and typing how many subdivides you want, and it'll work fine. And also the wrist will look better. So okay. Yeah. Next fix is the the hair of the second layer of the head. Uh, so it moves it moves a little better with the jaw uh, yeah and that's basically okay so as you can see I added a new uh, tier uh, this one's I'll get to it later uh, so yeah it's skeleton HQ so what the skeletons are for the skeletons are for animating I will show you what I mean later about it but yeah so let's load this in so basically what this one has is it has a low poly body and a high poly uh, head so you can change this high poly here like and then we have we can do this so basically yeah so like i said the skeleton is for animating so you would animate the facial features okay so i have the scene set up here so i animated this with a low quality um skeleton rig the lowest quality one and then i transfer the keyframes onto onto the high quality skeleton rig with the facial features as you can see, I animated that, and then I transferred all the keyframes of the facial features and the body all onto the ultimate rig. So the ultimate, the highest quality rig I have. Um, and yeah, with extrusions and everything. And yeah, that's what you can do. So now I'm going to show you how I did that. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to transfer the keyframes from this low quality skeleton to the next one. So I have three, three ones set up here. I have the final one, which is the ultimate with all the extrusions and stuff, and then I have the mid one, which is the uh, a skeleton high quality and then this is the skeleton low quality one and I have set them up like this so um, load in the mid one which is the skeleton high quality one and let's transfer the keyframes now so let's get the basic visual selector here select all of that copy grab it onto the mid and paste yeah, and now it's transferred, so now you can delete that. Now we need to get uh, the facial features, so I'll quickly animate that. As, as you can see, I've now animated the facial features, blinking and everything. So now we need to transfer the keyframes to the final mesh. So, what we need to do is we need to go into the, the sorry, visual selector, select everything here on the mid, the one we want to transfer the keyframe, and then select everything on the final one. So and now we got the body movements and now we need to transfer the user data so what we can do is we, since we want to copy the mid one first we can turn off all the other ones all the ones that we want, don't want to see so we don't have it now 
Uh, so now we type u dot and we can select all of the user data here. Uh, these five, I, these five are like the mesh, mesh switches, like this one, these controls up here and here and here. And then this is the HUD one. Um, there's an option for that. And now we copy these keyframes like so. And now we can transfer it uh, to the final one. So now we can off this and turn on the final one and type oh yeah u dot and now we want to paste it onto these these user data now and yeah we're done yay uh that's that's it now we can just delete um the mid make sure you delete the layers as well so that you don't get confused and then you type then you right click and remove unused materials and now we have uh, the final mesh in the scene okay so once you're done uh putting in the high poly mesh or whatever you can actually drag in each tier or each uh, set of the rig, each level of the rig into a LIB4D folder. So like what I've done here. So we have the low poly one, then we have the animation HQ one, uh, sorry, the um, skeleton HQ one, and then we have the final mesh, the ultimate one. And this will optimize workflow. So if you want to see a low poly character in your, in your scene, you just load this guy in and you can see him moving in your scene. And if you're, uh, if you're animating a huge scene with a ton of characters, you just have this guy in and it's not adding any lag really. And you can just turn you, turn you off if you like, like that. And yeah, keep in mind that uh, if, you're, if you've resized your rig and you're trying to copy and paste keyframes to a rig that's smaller, it's not going to work. So you need to make sure you've done this beforehand, like made them small and everything. You can't copy and paste keyframes to someone who is a, a different size. If the head is a different size, I, you can. But if the if the main body is a different size, no. Thanks for watching, guys. Um, make sure you read the description for all the extra info. And yeah, if you have any questions, leave it down below. Uh, and yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.